What's going on, everybody? I am the goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. Louis has introduced NBA 2K24 tools roster editor. Um, it's got a lot of looks like a lot of enhancements over last year. So, all right. So first thing first, you want to make sure you got the correct version of NBA 2K24 that's going to work with the hook and everything like that. Because the hook, you're going to use that to. Um, be able to take files from the game and then modify them or mod them or just flat out use mods even if you don't take any files from the game so make sure you got the right version of the game uh everything is trying to come up for me on steam so i'm gonna let that work itself out and then all right 2k24 tools once you install it you probably get a question like this just want to click yes and then the tool should come up and appear. And then as far as what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna get over to NLSC. Let's go to 2K24, let's go to modding. So as you can see, once you pull up tools, it'll give you some information about how you can select multiple items or multiple players. Um, <clears throat> using control slash shift plus the left click button. All right, so right click will give you a, a menu and then control A, you can select all control D to deselect. Anyway, we're gonna press okay on that. I'll just show you real quickly. So like, oh, I can't show you yet. The game is not running yet, but oh, gotta initialize it. So once the game comes up, um, I already have, I don't have the newest version of the hook, but I don't even think I need it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'll probably get the newer version of the hook later. But anyway, I have a version of the hook. Now I got the game up. Let me see. I actually want to wait. I want to wait for the game to load up to the main screen. All right, come on, get off of this. I don't care about this. All right, so once I get there, bring the tools back, click refresh. Okay, cool. We got everything. <clears throat> so let's say I went to a team. Let's go to like 76ers. I, I can press control and then hold down control and select multiple players. Then if I right click on this, it'll let me, it'll give me different options. All right, so we can do the same thing. Should be able to do the same thing with staff. So you can select multiple if you want. Same thing with teams, which this is really cool. So what is batch edit? What are they for batch editing? Only modify the options you want to change. Oh, this is fire. This is fire. This is fire. This is going to make editing full roster so much quicker. So I'm going to have to do a breakdown and change. Let's say you want every team to have the same stadium. When you do batch editing, only edit this area here, okay, for stadium. Only edit the areas that you want to change. This is going to be so fire for all-in-one roster, like just full rosters. Matter of fact, if I press control A, oh, yes, sir. Let's go to batch edit. And then I forget where the info information is. Probably in. Uh, I'll look for it later, actually. But I wanted to see if I could, like, just remove every team's warm ups. Let's go to batch edit again. Yeah, I think I can. I could just make every team have this as their warm ups. That would be fire. Okay. Anyway, though. So this this is gonna be fire. This is gonna be fire. It's gonna make roster editing so much easier, so much quicker. Um, and we've lost a lot of time with 2K24 just being how it is. Shoes, you can look at different shoes. I don't think you can really do anything with the shoes here yeah it's like you can't edit the shoes so it really doesn't matter and then you got a few other options anyway i'm gonna keep this video short and sweet i'll make more nba 2k tool videos had to go ahead and make this one 
just to get it out. You guys may see me talk about the same subject more than once when it comes to NBA 2K tools over the next couple of days. I'm just going to try to put out whatever I can in regards to uh, information about this tool and how to use it uh, and the new functionality that it has. Looks like it's going to make roster editing much better. Also, there should be a new NBA 2K23 um, tools roster editor update. So I'll take a look into that. But for now, I got to get back to work. So I'll see you guys later.